Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and today we're going to learn about quarter square pinwheels. This is a really fun quilt with all kinds of different options and basically what it makes is a pinwheel in a pinwheel. So let me show you how to do that. So to make this quilt, you're going to need one packet of 10 inch squares and we have used Eden by Sally Kelly for Wyndham Fabrics. You're also going to need one package of 10 inch background squares plus a half a yard for your inner border. For your outer border, you're going to need one and a quarter yards and that makes a nice big six inch border and your backing is four and a half yards of a 45 cut or two and a quarter yards of a 108 fabric. It will also be helpful to have the clearly perfect slotted trimmer B. So this is the block we're talking about and each time you put together a set to make a block you're going to get two of them. Now one is going to turn one direction and one is going to turn the other but we'll talk about that in a minute. You're going to need one primary print like this that's a dark. You're going to need one background square and then you're going to need two other prints that are contrasting to your main color. Out of the background piece we're going to make the easy eight. So choose one of your pieces and draw a line on it corner to corner both directions. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew on both sides of this line and both sides of this line. And we're just going to leave this one right here for now. So I'm going to center this up on here. A lot of times you'll notice when you get pre-cuts they have the little pinked edge and sometimes they don't match the pre-cut, the other pre-cut that you have. So just center it up, choose one edge to follow. I'm choosing to follow my pattern edge, my printed edge and then I'm just going to sew on both sides of this line and both sides of this line. So line it up on your machine and just sew down one side. And down the other. Now we're going to go on both sides going the other direction. And just use your presser foot as your guide. This is, um, you want to be pretty close to a quarter of an inch, but you've got a little bit of play here, so no worries. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our piece over here and we are going to cut this eight times. We are making half square triangles and we're going to go ahead and cut it in half vertically. Now our five inch ruler, if you lay it along the edge, it goes right down the center. You can look and make sure that it crisscrosses where both those drawn lines come together. We're going to cut it this way and we're going to cut it this way. And the reason I like to cut these directions first is because if my block gets um, disturbed and moved around, I have the lines on all the other parts so I don't have to worry about that. So I make those two cuts first and then we are cutting on both lines like this and like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press these open. So we're going to come right over here to the iron and we're going to press these open. I'm going to leave them dark side up and we're just going to press them straight up like this. So that seam is now hidden in the other side. If you, if you ironed this seam to the white side it would show through so that's why we try to press to the dark side. And we got a few more here. And you should get eight. This is a really easy way to get eight half square triangles. And it works on any size block too, so don't be afraid to try that. All right, so now that we've pressed these all open, we are ready to cut our other squares. So grab your other two squares and we are going to go ahead and cut these in half vertically and horizontally. And so here's our first cut right here. And we're making five inch squares. Now I chose two different prints because that will make these blocks look all different as I go along. You can use identical prints but then you'll have eight blocks that are identical and I wanted mine a little more scrappy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw lines on the backs of all these squares because we are now making our quarter square triangles. 
So we're going to take our four of each one like this. Four of one color and four of the other. We're drawing a line on every single one. So now we have all of our lines drawn and we're not squaring these up yet. What we're going to do is we're going to take our, our contrasting fabric and we're going to line up here and the line is going to go, our seam goes this way, our line is going to go the opposite direction. And we're just going to center this block up on here. You'll see that it, you know, it's a little bit smaller and that's okay. So we're going to center this up. And if you feel like you need to put a pin in here, that's fine. And then we are going to sew on both sides of this line. And what I did was I lined mine up so that the white part was at the top and that seam naturally lays down when I'm sewing through it. So we're going to do this to our little stack of them. And I'm going to sew down one side of all of them and then flip the whole chain and go up the other. So there's one. And I'm just going to lay this square on here like this and make sure that my line is across the top like this. And you'll make a whole chain of these. Make sure you keep putting them right sides together. That's an easy thing to forget. And again, if you press to the dark side and you lay your white piece at the top, that middle seam will just lay down really nicely as you sew across it. And we just have two more here. Now we've chain pieced our whole row and we're just going to swing that row back around and we're going to start up the other side. And I'm just going to set them in my lap here so there's no pull. And this side should go really easily. So now our row is done and we are ready to square all the next work comes in. You want to keep your four background ones together in one pile. And I'm just coming across here and cutting my threads apart in between. So I have these in two different stacks because we are making two different blocks. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to cut the line on these like this and then these are going to get squared. Okay, so every time you cut one of these blocks in half, when you open them up, you'll see that there's a pinwheel that is going one direction and a pinwheel that is going the other direction. And you also want to keep those together. But before we do any of that, we're going to square these. One of the reasons I like the Clearly Perfect slotted trimmer for this is because it has a line this way and it has a line this way. So we're going to lay our line my seam line matches their seam line going both directions and then we can just trim like this. So we're trimming up this side and down this side. And if you come in here to the little slots, you can get your, your little um, corners off. And we're going to do that to four of them and I'll show you how these blocks go together. But you'll see right here, so here's one, here's one of our finished blocks and this one is going to be the same on the same side. But half of these are going to go the other direction. So you want to keep, you know, just line them up like this so that you have all your reds on this side and then all your reds on the opposite side. And that will help you keep things together as you're, you're trimming so that you know exactly what you've got going on. Because you're going to get two sets of blocks out of each one of these. And so let's go here and trim this one. Again, I'm lining my seam line up with theirs and across the middle. And it's not always perfect. You know, my seams aren't always... 100% really straight and so 
They're not always perfect, but they're really close, much closer for me and much easier for my brain to use this than it is for me to use a regular squaring tool. All right, so we got this one done and this one done. And we got one more here. I think I grabbed one off another pile. Gonna have to, gonna have to fix my piles again. And you'll get into a real quick um, rhythm of this. this. This part tends to go very fast. And it's nice because you really only have to square your block one time. You know, we don't do it as we make the half square triangles and we don't do it any other time. Just when we got all of our blocks together, we square once and we're good. All right, so we are going to finish this last two up here. Here's our last one, and we're cutting them at four inches, and we're lining our line up. Our seam line matches their seam line. And let's see, we've got one, two. Oh, here's my, here's my guy who strayed. All right, so now we're going to press these open, and I'm going to use my little, my bigger half square triangle as the piece I'm going to lay back. And I'll show you what I mean by turning two different directions because it does, it does really work out interestingly. And I thought maybe I was going to have to make two different quilts with this because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them, but I came up with a really fun solution. And really what happens when you get a pattern where they run opposite ways, you never know what secondary block is going to appear. So when I talk about that, what I mean is when we put this together as a pinwheel, and this part comes into the middle. So with a pinwheel, all your seams go into the middle. That's one of the first mantras I do. And so if I have, I have one like this, and so actually I want to turn these because I want my red to form the second pinwheel. So, so see how that's forming a secondary pinwheel? And this one, I have to remember, my red goes in and my seam goes in. My red goes in and my seam goes in. And just like that, we have that pinwheel right there. So that makes a little double pinwheel. The same fabric, but it cut on the other side of the block, is going to make a pinwheel, even though we put it together the same way, but it's going to turn the opposite direction. And so let me show you what I mean by that. Let me scoot this guy down. Wait for it. There we go. All right. So see how this pinwheel is all, the points are all going this way? On this one, they're all going the opposite way. So let's go ahead and sew those two together, and I'll show you how they fit into the quilt. So we're going to pick this up just like a four patch. We're going to sew the two of them together and I always lay them out before I sew them. Otherwise, I would just have a mess on my hands because I am not one who can do that. So we're just going to sew these, this block together. And we're going to open this up and make sure that it all still works. Put them right sides together. There aren't any seams to line up on these except for the center seam. And so that's all you're watching on this. All right, now we're going to do this one. And so again, I'm just going to fold this over and I'm going to do the top row. And it's just four blocks. And then this is the bottom row. And then we're going to go ahead and open these up, make sure it's right. It is, and put those together. All right, now let's press these open. And so we'll come over here, and I'm just going to, actually I'm going to like press on this a little bit so it lays down nice and flat. And I love this little block. I think this is a fun little block. There's so many different things you can do with it. It's a very old block. Easy way to make quarter square triangles. All right. So here we have our two blocks. Now you'll notice this is from the same Easy 8. Here's our same fabric right here. But I haven't even trimmed these and already we have two. So we'll get two out of this side as well. 
And so what I'm gonna show you now is how I set them. And I played with this a bunch of ways. So I hope you guys have fun and play with these because there's a lot of different things you can do, including making two whole different quilts. But this row right here, let me grab this one. I started with these and you can see, see this point is going this way, this point is going this way. This whole row points this way. So this whole row up here points this way. And then this next row pointed the opposite way. So here's this one. And see the little peaks right here, the little noses? They all point that way. Now, if you didn't think that as it's laying down there, there were several times where it was like, wait a minute, that one's not right. You know, it's very easy to get this confused. And so that's why I decided to do one row this way, one row this way, one row this way, one row this way. So we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It makes a great size quilt. It's 64 by 71. We've got a two and a half inch border out here on the, on the inside, a nice big six inch border out here, and the backing, look how fun that backing is. Isn't that a great piece of backing? Just adorable, and this is one of our new quilting patterns that we've just added. It's called Wavy Lines, and it's just really pretty. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the quarter square pinwheel from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.